Malicious Video 1. My first job when I was a teenager was as a dishwasher in a coffee shop that was just open for one month in my seaside town. The owners had just left their other job with a bit of cash. And they set up this place thinking it'd be easy money while they retired. The problem, of course, was that they didn't want to work in it, but also didn't want to hire an experienced manager to run it either. As you can assume, problems ensued from the get-go. My malicious compliance was late in the summer. My job was to clear and clean all the tables, wash and dry all the dishes and make sure the floor was spotless. The problem, of course, was that takes at least two people on a calm day. Never mind busy weekends in the midst of summer holidays. And since the boss didn't work there, he assumed that I could just do it all myself. Now, I didn't have any frame of reference for how hard a job should actually be. So for the entire summer, I had been busting my butt doing all this and barely making it work. I had adopted so many shortcuts that the dishwasher never actually got used. Because the baristas were telling me to handwash stuff because they needed it immediately. The problem was we literally didn't have enough cups to have a full dishwasher. While also having enough cups to serve customers. So that meant that most of the time I was in the kitchen scrubbing, barely having enough time to run out and lift up dirty trays. But still, I managed to do both looking back now, I actually had to physically run around the cafe at times to make it all work. Of course, the boss would walk in randomly during the day. And I would get told off for the floor being dirty or a tray being on the table. Whatever it didn't matter if the tray had been there for 10 seconds. Still, it was my fault now I had dealt with all of this so far. I sucked it up and just pushed on thinking that I must have just been slow. That was until the busiest day of the year when we had a show in town. The place was packed and the town was so busy that people didn't even mind standing. Because there were no seats to have a drink. The boss got called in because we were swamped we had no cups, a long line of angry customers and people sitting at dirty tables. When he walks in, he immediately points at every table with an empty cup on it and says there's no cutlery. Only to further add that the floor is a disgrace. I quickly run out to clean the front and I asked him to cover the dishwashing for a minute. I had been stuck hand washing dishes just so the baristas had something to put coffee in. He's appalled at the idea of washing dishes himself, but he complies it's only when I get back there. That I see that he's obviously never worked back here before. He actually spent the entire time that I'm on the floor just packing a handful of dishes into a dishwasher tray. I freak out and ask him to help move stuff so I can set the new tray down. Then he flips it on me and acts shocked that I can't just hold dishes as I'm washing them and then juggle them through my hands and wash one dish and hold the other dishes. Bear in mind that I have a tray of maybe 8 cups, teapots, ice cream cones, etc. Eventually he clears a space for me, but by then the barista start asking for cups. I start hand washing one cup to hand over to him and he scowls at me. He says, everything must go through the dishwasher. Then he walks off to mingle at the front house again. All right, mate if you want it that way, then you can have it that way. I start packing up the dishwasher and try to organize the stacks of trays. Not two minutes go by before four baristas start screaming for cups and teapots. I just have to tell them about the boss's new rules. At this point, the boss flies into the back, whips open the dishwasher and tells me to start hand washing everything again. I start hand washing and he immediately follows with there are tables out there with dishes on them. I had been pretty frightened of the boss until now, but having seen him start to lose his cool a little. It dawned on me that I was being overworked and the guy didn't even know it yet. So instead of trying to make a point or arguing, I realized that the best way to let him know this is by showing him I left to get a full tray. From out front it took a while to stack a few table trays together, and while I was doing that, he was sweating in the back following the barista's cleaning order's hand doing dishes as they were needed. Of course, when I get back, there is once again nowhere to put the trays and he's now scowling at everyone as if we constructed the building ourselves. And when I say there was nowhere to put the trays, I'm including the floor because there were already trays stacked on the floor. He immediately runs back to the front of the house I then have to start cleaning cutlery and anyone who's worked in a restaurant or cafe knows the bane that is cutlery. I'm nearly done scrubbing cutlery clean when the boss reappears and without looking pours coffee and tea onto my clean cutlery in the sink. At this point, I can see that he's defeated now he understands how precious my time is and he knows that by doing that, 
he just screwed me over his eyes are wide with this aura of, he walks back out, still holding the now empty mugs. And leaves me to start the cutlery anew maybe a minute goes by when he walks back in and just asked me to tell him, how do I do my job oh, my god finally. As I wash dishes, I talk to him, telling him all the little tricks and tips for making sure stuff is still moving out to the front I can tell from his face. That he's finally starting to understand how this place actually works because he genuinely didn't know I can see somewhere. In his head he's just now realized how he must have been treating myself and the other younger staff members all summer. At this point he's looking a bit broken 15 minutes into working at his own cafe and he's broken. For the rest of the shift he had his wife come down and the three of us work the full shift to close. At the end of the day. He actually apologized for making me work like that and he said that from then on he would always have extra staff to accommodate busy shifts. I actually went to work for him every summer after that until I left college. I actually really appreciated his reaction to that day, and I always did a little bit more than I needed to.